The problem of correctly reproducing a three-dimensional figure had a fundamental importance in the history of Western figurative arts, especially between the 15th and 18th centuries. Parallel to the study of perspective, since the 15th century, painters began using different instruments in order to check measurements and to have assistance in drawing three-dimensional figures. These perspectographs were also used by the important artists. The most simple and commonly used devices were based on the principle of intercepting and fixing the figure with the plane of intersection of the visual cone. This method was first set forth by Leon Battista Alberti and brought into standard procedure by Leonardo da Vinci. This plane consists of a veil or a glass, in any case of a surface that is transparent enough a surface on which it is possible to draw the picture watched through a viewfinder, a tool similar to a scope that compels the artist to maintain a fixed point of view. In other perspectographs, the plane of intersection is made up of a grid that divides and organizes the scenery. In this way, the painter can copy it onto a sheet of paper that is equally squared. Albrecht Dürer, in this famous etching, shows one of these devices that was used to solve a particularly difficult problem of the foreshortened figure. Another method shown by Albrecht Dürer is a device that consists of a stretcher that had movable threads, along which are threaded movable beads. Mm -hmm. When an additional thread is pulled from the object point as far as the center of the projection plane, a bead is placed to mark where the thread meets said plane of the stretcher. If the side door bearing a sheet of paper is closed, then the point marked by the bead can be permanently traced and, point after point, the image will be rebuilt with the utmost precision. <laughs>